guys, I wanted to share my favorite new way of cooking pork. First you need some pork tenderloins and then you're gonna get a frying pan nice and warmed up. We have a cast iron pan and you can use whatever seasonings that work for you. We are using basil, salt, pepper, and then saving the best for last, we will top that puppy with some Parmesan cheese and make delicious pork bites. So I got this recipe from Laura Spath. You can check her out on YouTube. And then we just tweaked a few things to work for us. So first thing you're going to need is a pork loin. And we found with pork that it does not like to have um, tons of heat on it for long periods of time. And what we found works best is to put it into very thin, thin slices and I'll slice this entire thing up and then I'll come back when I'm ready to put it in the pan. I don't like to put a lot of grease in the pan. I think it kind of almost boils the meat. So what I like to do beforehand is go ahead and add a little bit of salt. This is Redmond's Real Salt. So one thing I found with pork is basil makes pork taste more like steak. And I got a little too much. And then we have coarse ground um, pepper and this does not come out of a shaker very well. So I found just lightly sprinkling it works for us. So you'll see I have too much pork there and I'm just, I mean too much pork, oh my, too much basil. And I'll just kind of like mix, give it a really quick mix on my cutting board. And then we're gonna put it in this burning hot pan. So I have this at medium high heat. And what I'm going to do is wash my hands really fast. And go ahead and give this a stir. Now with pork, it doesn't have to cook. You want your cook, you want it to cook thoroughly, but it's not, you don't need it like seared like maybe a steak. <clears throat> so I'll cook this until all the pink is gone. Just let it sit a minute. That had. About half a stick of Kerrygold butter. And you can see most of this pork is pretty much cooked through already. Um, our family has found that this makes it the most tender way of cooking. Um, even we cook our steaks like this too. Um, it just makes it super tender. And that basil is really a nice smell. So now that the meat is mostly cooked and you'll see there are a few pink, pink pieces in there. So I try and get the pink down in the pan. And we just keep moving it around the pan until all the pink is gone. because nobody likes pink pork. And pork, um, these center cuts of pork do not have a lot of fat, so I like to add butter. I think I turned that down just a smidge too much. You gotta balance burning to cooking. Okay, I'll let that sit in the pan while I clean up my mess real quick. All right, you can see there's very little pink left. I'm just going to stir through. I see some pink over here. So I'll make sure that gets in the hot of the pan. And then while this is just finishing out, um, what I like to do is go ahead and give this just a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. And you can see how the pork has like bubbling butter near it. The reason I don't like to cook it like this is it kind of steams the pork and makes it more like a boiled soup rather than a almost like a quick seared. So I use my fingers since we're all family. 
And I just kind of make sure each piece is, you know, somewhat coated with Parmesan cheese. And then I turn off the heat, pull, slide the pan off the heat, and then I let that get to a manageable temperature and then I'll serve it up to our family. And that is how I like to make my pork. Um, Laura Spath makes pork bites. I guess these would be pork slivers. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this helps you stay on the carnivore journey and come back and watch us for more videos.